Welcome to DS Trucks. I'm over here servicing my brakes. I'm actually just greasing the pins, but there's something that I'm curious about, and that is, should you open your brake cap, your brake master cylinder cap, in order to compress your calipers? I've always done it, but I've been told not to by certain people. So I'm curious now, should you open the cap to relieve the pressure that would inadvertently be generated if you're compressing your calipers? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and comp try, I'm going to try to compress these without opening the cap. And if I get resistance, I'll go ahead and open the cap. My thought process is I should open the cap in order to uh, allow the pressure of the air that would be trapped up here to escape so that as I'm compressing, that air isn't compressing up in the master cylinder and it's constantly pushing back at me while I'm compressing the brakes. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not a real thing. So I'll go ahead and compress this one. And it... <laughs> I don't know it's kind of it's okay i don't know it seems so what is it an issue like if i'm leaving the cap on and i go and compress that side will it cause this caliper to push back out and make it so i can't just do everything at once this caliper is loose enough for it to come off but it's not it's not all the way in but i could take this caliper off but if i took this caliper off I would prefer to go ahead and push it all the way in com completely in its entirety because right now I can't, I can't compress it no more. I'm enough that I can pull that caliper off, but then once I get it off, I need to compress it more so that I can put brand new pads. If I was going to go in with brand new pads, brand new rotor, I got to be all the way in and I'm not all the way in. So, I started to kind of take this off, but maybe I need to go. I'm, I'm not compressed. I want to be fully compressed and I'm getting, <clears throat> I'm working here. So I don't understand. I mean, I don't know. Maybe am I wrong in thinking if I relieve this pressure, do I get more compression room? I don't know. Or maybe I'm wrong. People are telling me not to be loosening in this. So this is loose sitting on top. Is that what the issue is or no? I don't know. No, it didn't go no more. So maybe that was just all that it had. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to close it because I didn't, I don't know. So let's go ahead and compress some more. The cap's closed. It didn't, I don't know. I always thought it was a good practice to do. Rear. It seems like it's going. It's not really fighting me that bad, I don't think. Loosen it. I guess that's all of it maybe it's hard to really tell how much more piston can go in i don't have a way of knowing if i'm all the way compressed all right next one so i guess i mean you don't have to i've always done it though this one going so i think like if i'm not allowing that air to escape and i'm trying to go around and compress everything in well am i pushing back the other ones that i've already closed up by applying braking pressure to the system or will loosening the cap allow it to flow back up into the master cylinder all right that one's feeling like all i can get reasonably and then the last one Press. I guess the point of this video is, is there any reason to open this one's any reason to open that? Let's 
going, but I'm kind of fading it. That's within reason. I mean, I'm not going to try to rip on it any harder than that. Than that. All right, let's go ahead and take that off. I mean, they're loose. So if I got these loose and I've been compressing them with the cap on, I don't know. Is there a reason to take the cap off? I should be at the max line on this fluid. Yeah, I'm pretty much there at the max. And I'm still compressed. I'm pretty well compressed. Is there air trapped up in here? Now, now let's take a look here. I've compressed this air or did it just escape? I don't know. It's now, the fluid's now up higher. I could be closer, closer to that max line for sure. Let's go ahead and open that. I kind of heard a little squirt of air maybe in opening it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that like loose a little. I'm gonna see if I can't compress these anymore. Let's see if these go in anymore. Okay. Maybe a little. Okay, just a, maybe a little. here nah it's all the way down I've always argued that you need to open that cap, but uh, I don't know, kind of not getting any more out of these with the cap open. I don't know. They're all going to be, you know, loose for me. It's very important to remember when I put the tires back on here, I got to re-step on the pedal to get all these pistons in contact with the rotors or else I won't have no brakes for a minute. This thing is going to just fly through the freaking wall. You know, got to step on those brakes after. Oh, what's that? What's that? Mm -hmm. Nope, that's it. Seems as if it's okay to do, to go ahead and uh, leave the cap on and compress everything. Fluid's still in the same spot. It's not like I got any more out of it. And then obviously re-secure the top. So the only other thing I can say is if somebody came in here and added brake fluid, maybe they come and say, oh, I like to top all my fluids off. Well, they put it back to the max line. And here I come not knowing. I mean, you'd have to have experience enough to know, like, hey, let me look at this brake fluid. It's already at the max. I didn't compress anything. So if I go and compress everything, it's gonna hit the lid and it's gonna explode because it's too much pressure. So maybe the air just pushes its way out of that cap without an issue. I don't know but it does seem to allow you to compress it without too much of an issue, even if you just leave the cap closed. So maybe I was wrong. We're all wrong. Take a chance. Columbus did. I feel I need to explain myself on why I'm even making this video, uh, talking about the brake fluid uh, master cylinder and should you open the cap when you're, just, uh, when you're just compressing the calipers. I have on my phone what comes up when you actually google the uh procedure and 
what's interesting nowadays is it brings up this AI overview it says here once that moves when compressing your brake caliper you should generally open the cap on your master cylinder reservoir to allow the displaced brake fluid to easily return to the reservoir this is considered best practice avoiding excessive pressure on the system by forcing the uh, master cylinder by forcing fluid back into the master cylinder without an escape route so i'm not just making it up like you need to be open in the cap although in testing in our video it does appear that oh, at least with this particular truck it doesn't require it like it didn't it seemed like uh when you compress the caliper on that ford 22 ford f250 350 whatever single rear wheel single rear wheel truck it did cooperate and it did compress just fine so in our case it does seem like you don't have to i don't know if that's going to be the case for every vehicle but uh that is a controversial thing because a lot of mechanics will say don't open the the master cylinder cap i've never opened the master cylinder cap why would you open the master cylinder cap it can actually be a, a pretty controversial topic so uh, comment below and let me know uh, your thoughts and do you open your master cylinder uh, when you compress your calipers I didn't really even realize that it was a controversial topic but it is uh, not everyone does it and uh, I think I I don't know like I I've always done it but in this case it didn't need to be done do I change my procedure or do I just do it as a precaution uh, maybe some master cylinders are different. Maybe this one just vents pressure outward that is applied from one direction, but will not allow fresh air. Well, obviously it does let some fresh air into the system because as that fluid drops, there is an air void that is created above that master cylinder that is uh, somehow filled. So obviously it lets some air breathe into that reservoir so anyway comment below and let me know your thoughts on the situation my name is sean this is ds trucks see you in the next video over and out